you know, I've, I've been thinking, you know, uh, the speed of light was always the standard growing up. Uh, nothing faster than the speed of light. Then I thought, there is something faster than that. It's the speed of thought. Mm. We can think faster than that light can travel. Mm. I'll give you an example of that. I saw it online. It has to be true. <laughs> There's 200 billion trillion stars in a known galaxy. That's not just some guy making that shit up. That's a, that's a real smart person that's done the studies on this universe. Yeah. 200 billion trillion galaxies. Or stars. How many planets would that be if they averaged five apiece? Yeah. That's a bunch. That's a bunch. That's such a massive thing to think about. There's no point in even thinking about it. You know, you... You know, it's by me. I, I just want to go pick up bones at the bone yard. <laughs> well, then it goes deeper than that. Well, there's a, a couple ways it goes deeper than that. First of all, in the center of every galaxy is a supermassive black hole that I think is, I think it's, what is it, one half of 1% of the mass of the entire galaxy that's in the, some, something along those lines? It's, at every so the larger the galaxy the larger the supermassive black hole and there's real speculation that if you went through that black hole you you reach another universe with also hundreds of billions of galaxies each with hundreds of billions of stars each one of those galaxies has a supermassive black hole you go through that another universe hundreds of billions of galaxies hundreds of billions of black holes go through them hundreds of billions of galaxies new universes everywhere and then there's dimensions this is the real speculation when you know when people start talking about uaps and alien life and there's two thoughts one thought well there's more than two thoughts one thought is that they are us from the future another thought is they are us from their people their things their intelligent life forms maybe even artificial intelligence, something that has been created from other galaxies that is physically transported here. And then the other thought is there's inter interdimensional travel, that there are beings from somewhere that are capable of visiting this dimension that we exist in, but they exist in something. So they are here all the time. They're just here in a way that we have no ability to access them, but they can access us. And time, and I've heard you say this, uh, something we made up. Right. There's no such thing as time. Right. N this is the only time right now. Yeah. And it's gone already. Yep. It was here, it's gone. Right. Now, you s talk about, it'd be nice. What is this, Jamie? Quick animation NASA made to give you a, a size a reference, if you will. Okay. It starts with the middle thing is the sun, our okay. sun. And I think these are different um Supermassive black holes. Right. They're small, obviously. I'm going to try to speed it up so it doesn't take too long. I'm going to go to speed. Um, this is the orbit of Mercury. There's one there. It gets really big here really quick, though. So these are other supermassive black holes that are just in our galaxy? Yeah, there's the Milky Way. The asteroid belt just went away. Watch how it speeds up here. Is a big one outside of the solar system. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. Bigger one. And wait for the big one. Oh my god. So that one's just sitting out there. Ton 618. Wow. And I guess in theory, then yeah, all of that times two, or I don't know how big, is un inside that. <clears throat> That's reverse. I don't know. Yeah, go inside that. You find another universe. Yeah, which is weird that, like, the universe is so big we can't even wrap our head around it, mm -hmm. and that's just the tip of the iceberg. The tip of the iceberg is not even a good way to describe it. It's a grain of sand. Yep. Maybe it's not even a grain of sand. Maybe it's an atom. Maybe it's not even an atom. Maybe it's a subatomic particle. And maybe, maybe the whole thing is fractal. So maybe what we are and what this planet is. I mean, I'm sure you've seen... When they look at, have you ever seen the um, a map of the known universe in comparison 
to uh, a neuron in the human brain. Mm-mm. See if you can find that. It it's entirely possible that it it's just constantly if you constantly expand further and further out that this entire universe is an atom it's a part of a much larger organism that exists in another universe that is infinitely large that is impossible to, for us to grasp our head around so that's a brain cell and that's galaxies and um when you look at that I mean, goddamn, those things look the same. <laughs> they look the same. Neural network and the cosmic web, they look the same. And if, if they are the same, if that is what a brain cell is, and that the entire universe is a part of the brain of an infinitely large individual that's a part of a civilization that also exists in another universe that's a part of an infinitely large being that's a brain cell of that that universe is a brain cell of that thing and then it just keeps going and going and going and going and even the idea of the big bang is just like maybe not maybe it's always been here maybe maybe it's just constant and maybe it's god Maybe the whole thing. Maybe those people, aliens, whatever you want to call it, visited Earth about 65, 75 million years ago, and they said, hey, no life like us can live here with these dinosaurs running around. Yeah. Let's burn this bitch down. It could be. And poof, 